Hello, I'm Rob Graff, Rector of All Saints, Pauley's Island, South Carolina. I've got a, an update for you. It's Tuesday in Holy Week. I can remember during the annual meeting teaching you a new word, new word for some of you, lanyap, a little something extra. It's a great Cajun word. And I remember declaring over the church that I believe the Lord is calling us into a, a year of lanyap where he's going to show up and show off and provide a little something extra. I was praying over that word and wondering in light of all that's going on right now all over the world, wondering if I had just terribly missed it, if I had not heard the Lord the way I thought I'd heard him. And he immediately took me to 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9, where Paul hears the Lord. My grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in weakness. If you have your Bibles, look, look with me to that 12th chapter in 2 Corinthians. I'm starting at verse 7. Paul has just had an ecstatic experience, experiencing the third heaven. And he writes, So to keep me from being too elated by the surpassing greatness of the revelations, a thorn was given me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to harass me, to keep me from being too elated. Three times I pleaded with the Lord about this, that it should leave me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, writes Paul, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Amen? For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weakness, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, writes Paul, then I am strong. So I'll say it again, All Saints Church, this is going to be a year of lanyap, where he provides a little bit of something extra, where he surpasses our expectations once again. Count on it. For when we are weak, then he is strong. Can we celebrate our hardships? Can we celebrate our calamities, knowing that he's going to show up in even greater measure? Some of you have been wondering how it is that you can give online. And online giving is not anything really new to All Saints Church, but it's new for some of us. So I'd encourage you, if you want to give to the church online, go to the website. And on that front screen, look for the button that'll take you to online giving. If you have any problems at all, talk to Kathy in the church office and she'll help you set that up. I'm also encouraging folks to send in pictures Send in pictures of the family praying and pictures of the family playing. We want to share those online with one another. I also want to give you a Holy Week schedule. Some of you are wondering how we're going to do this. So here's a plan. Maundy Thursday, we'll have a devotional that I'll send out. It'll be a short introduction to Maundy Thursday and a good jumping off point for family discussion. You'll also find on Maundy Thursday a repackaged uh, Last Supper drama that we found. And we'll put that out and make it available and you can remember the Last Supper drama that we do from time to time. In fact, we were planning on doing one this year. On Good Friday, we'll have the Stations of the Cross and we can walk with Jesus through the streets of Jerusalem towards his cross. It's about a 45 minute exercise that'll take you all over this campus. Hopefully the Lord will meet you in that time of quiet contemplation. Holy Saturday, you're on your own. But spend some time in the word and spend some time giving thanks for the victory that Jesus has won for you. On Easter Sunday, I'm encouraging all families to come by the church at some point. Come early, come late. 
You can come through the, the circle, park, come into the quad, to the thus far altar. There you'll find the cross to be flowered, the same cross we use every Easter service. There'll be flowers available there at the cross, but you can also bring your own flowers if you so desire. Remember that the cross is horrific. Don't try to make it something that it's not. But on Easter Sunday, we remember that Christ has won the victory. On Easter Sunday, we remember that he has taken what is horrific and he's turned it into something that is beautiful and life-giving. So talk to your children about the victory that Jesus has won while you flower the cross together. Finally, this. Families, if you haven't been by the church to pick up your Easter happy, I'm encouraging you to do so. Bonnie and the team have put together these wonderful little gifts. They were to be given out Holy Saturday during the family Easter festival. We won't be doing that this year, so please come by and pick one up. Pick one up for neighbors and friends. This is for our school. This is for our church. This is for as many folks as we can pass them out to. So help us do that, if you will. Remember, the Lord tells us my grace is sufficient. My power is made perfect in my weakness. We can rest in that truth. When we are weak, then we are strong because of who it is within us. I think the collect for today, Tuesday and Holy Week, picks up that sentiment so well. I'd like, to, I'd like to conclude this time together with this prayer. Would you pray with me? O Lord our God, whose blessed Son gave his back to be whipped and did not hide his face from shame and spitting, give us grace to accept joyfully the sufferings of the present time confident of the glory that shall be revealed through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Have a blessed Holy Week.